good afternoon students today in sst we will go through the same chapter that is chapter 16 british and raj and and beyond so today we, i'll explain you about the great revolt of 1857 now what happened that gradually not only the indian rulers but the common masses also they were not happy with the english east india company so who were not happy who were discontent among the indian people first was the farmers because they were forced to grow indigo and cotton cotton cash crops and they were le- ha- uh, fined with heavy taxes also and during the times of floods and droughts they were not given any money also compensation then artisans was also unhappy they were also uh, the they processed whatever they uh, the british brought cheap raw materials from india and processed them at low cost in their factories in england and sold them at heavy profit means all the hand work was uh, expensive here and the ready made all british uh, products were easy is uh, it was cheap and so that is why the artisan had no work then indian traders and industries also they were deliberately destroyed by the british and uh, british imposed heavy taxes on industrial production and exports then religious causes was also there they they were uh, turning many people to into christianity so this led to a let, lot of anger in the common people and then a military cause was that that the the indian soldiers in in the company army were paid less and uh, treated badly and uh, so what happened by the mid 19th century most of northern india was ready to raise the banner of protest so they started protesting against the british operation some indian rulers like nana sahib tatya tope rani lakshmi bai and begum hazrat mahal united under the last mogal emperor bahadur shah zafar as their leader bahadur shah zafar was the last mogal emperor and he was the leader of the revolt then what was the immediate cause means how did it started the revolt in 1857 and broke out in the military camp at meerut the british had introduced new rifle called enfield so the rumor was that that the cartridges were greased with the fat of cows and pigs the soldier had to bite off the end of the cartridges to load the new rifles this angered both the hindu and the muslim soldiers this is because the hindus regard the cow is as holy and the muslim consider the pig as unclean the soldiers then refused to use this bullet and on being pressurized soldiers revolted and started a mutiny mutiny i had already told you see here the meaning is given open revolt against the authority means they were have revolted and uh, th- that is why the revolt is also known as the sifoi mutiny then result of the revolt the revolt spread rapidly to a large number of northern india and to, and to central india unfortunately it was crushed means it was a failure indian failed against the british this is because the british had superior weapons and a big army moreover many indians also supported the british so bahadur shah zafar the leader of the revolt was captured and exiled he was he was uh, exiled and sent to burma now myanmar other leaders like nana saheb and rani lakshmi bai were also killed now reasons for the failure of the revolt why was it a failure because of lack of unity among the people led to the failure of the li- revolt Man- because many of the indians had sided against with the Br- british then weak leadership of bahadur shah zafar because he was unable to uh, unite the people under one flag and lack of discipline and military training and equipment was an important reason for the revolt's failure the indian rebels were ill trained means the indians were ill trained and ill equipped they did not have uh, uh, well uh, equ- uh, well equipped uh, weapons and uh, money also like the britishers then after the revolt of 1857 what was the impact the revolt was viewed as a failure of the english east india company I means east india company was closed to govern the country the power and respons- responsibility to the rule india were transferred from the company to the british crown the british crown decided not to interfere with the religious belief of the indians so the revolt sowed the seed of nationalism now everyone wants to uh, get free from uh, the british rule many indian leaders were inspired by the revolt of 1857 for it gave them hope that the british were not unbeatable the indians freedom movement was a result of that hope so this i have explained you i will send you the brief 
और शॉर्ट क्वेश्चन आंसर्स